Tonight, CBSN Originals takes a closer look at the immigration debate with a trip to the border. In some areas of the country, the southern border doesn't just separate two countries, it also cuts a nation in two. Maria Villarreal shows us how the idea of a border wall is tearing one Native American community apart. Here's a preview of The Wall, a nation divided. This is crazy. So where is Mexico? Right past that boundary right there. And you, you're comfortable going back and forth, no problem, huh? I have no problem. So I'm actually in Mexico right now. You're in Mexico. You're in the U.S. right now. That's where the boundary is. The federal government recognized tribes as sovereign nations. We're not going nowhere. Yeah. We shall remain here. That's amazing. That's where the creator put us. That's amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Look, look you can go right there. There you go. Just outside Tucson, Arizona, the beautiful landscape of the Sonoran Desert has become a prime target. Desperate migrants and criminal smugglers funnel onto the Tohono O'odham's sacred and sovereign land where there is no concrete wall. Instead, Border Patrol agents rely on vehicle barriers, a crumbling fence, and constant patrols to keep illegal activity at bay. Oh, there's a group. See, there, there's four or five right here in this group on this mountain ridge, and then there's four silhouetted. There's, there's three up here. You see three there's or four like up four top? Right and then there's like three or four right here. Yep. Well, I don't understand. Like, why are they just sitting there? Because they're scouting us right now. The Tohono O'odham tribe is also fighting against the traffickers and the feds trying to chase them down. Tribal members like David Garcia are willing to risk everything to stop construction of a border wall on their land. If this wall is built, it will destroy everything that we've lived and held on all these years. The question was asked of me, what are you willing to do? I have already made up my mind. If it means losing my life, then that's what it means. Oh man, Maria Villarreal is here to discuss this. Uh, Maria, I just that shot of literally watching someone run across the border while you're doing the interview. I just, um, I don't, I think many of us have, obviously we've covered this story over and over again. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that we sort of see it in action. And what was even crazier is the more we started to zoom in and kind of move around, you start to notice that there are actually more of these people, this group that are actually hiding in the bushes behind us. Wow. They're waiting for us. Whether they are trying to use one or two people as a decoy, as the cat and mouse game that, that the Border Patrol talked about, or if they're literally just waiting for us to, you know, get out with our camera so that they can go ahead and cross. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was a, an unbelievable experience while we were there. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's highlighted in just the preview that we saw there is the relationship between uh, the tribe and the Border Patrol. A lot of people have suggested, look, throwing you know $20 billion to create a physical barrier could be better spent in building a stronger relationship between the Border Patrol, providing more funds to border agents. What did you learn? So when it was really interesting. Once we were able to get on the tribe, it almost enticed the Border Patrol a little bit to let us see parts of their world as well, which we, we had never really been able to do that before. They aren't, you know, that open, welcoming kind of federal government agency. But once we were in the vehicles with them and riding along to see what they experience on a, on a daily basis, you, you understand what they are dealing with. I mean, they are outfitting their vehicles with their own type of, like, um, uh, armor because they are constantly getting attacked by the cartel members on the Mexico side. While we're there, you also see kind of um, the emotional struggle they deal with because a lot of them have family that is either from Mexico or still in Mexico, but they take securing our borders very seriously. So um, the juxtaposition between the two different entities that are there on the border is, is really kind of hard to wrestle with, especially as a journalist. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to sort of do this story in numbers, yeah. but really the story is about people. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, what do you hope viewers walk away with when they watch this? Uh, you know, one thing I tell people is, um, after this experience, I almost felt inadequate in the amount of passion I had for the things in my life. Because you see them on the border and you realize that they don't have a lot, but they don't need a lot. And for them, their sole purpose is to protect the land. That is actually what Tohono the means, desert people. And they have this passion for protecting the land and they truly feel that if you put a border wall there, 
it will separate them from their tribe in Mexico. And so they don't have history books. They don't have history classes and lessons. They talk to each other in their native language. They uh, share stories over songs. And so if you separate them, they won't have that heritage and history passed on, and right. that is their biggest fear right now. So for me, that's what I want people to take away, is the idea that this is about people. It's not just about the wall. And if you haven't really seen the wall or been down there or experienced what it is like on the border, you need to watch this and, 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 and understand what they are dealing with. Mm -hmm. Uh, we cannot wait to see it. It's going to be an incredibly powerful piece. Um, and thank you so much for reporting it because I think, as you point out, Emory, it's one thing to talk about it in numbers. It's another thing to even suggest look, we have laws in this country. People should respect the laws. Mm -hmm. But when you see it and you see what the struggle is, what the challenge is going to be for the federal government, uh, it brings it all home. Thank you very much, Maria. Thanks for having me, guys.